In this video, we're going to show you how to get the most out of your tables in the Line Lomax software. Now, the first thing you'll notice when we get to a table, such as this accounting entries table, is that you can scroll right to left. Uh, you can scroll as many columns as there are, and you can also scroll up and down, but in this case, we don't have enough entries. Uh, as I scroll right to left, uh, you'll notice that there's different columns, but I can change and customize which columns are present. present. So I can right click anywhere on the table, and this will show me the list of the columns that are currently available with the check mark. If I wanted to add, say, the tenant column, I would click on tenants, and you'll find that tenants have been added to the end. Now, maybe I don't want tenants at the end of the table. Maybe I want them earlier. I can take the tenants, click on it, and drag it over here. Now the order of the tables has changed, where tenants is now the fourth column. I could, in fact, bring it way to the front, all the way to the first column, and now tenants is my first column. I can customize it whichever way I want. I can add more columns, I can move columns, and the software will remember exactly where I set it. So if I go back to this page, I'm just gonna refresh the page so you can see, you'll notice that the tenants is now still at the front. The next thing I can do is change the sorting order. Now you'll notice here, I've got sorted by date paid. Uh, I can reverse that order and click on here and you'll see the, the carrot changes and the order is changed. I can cha sort it by tenant instead. Uh, you'll see now it's sorted by tenant and now it's changed in the opposite order. I can also sort it by multiple fields. So for I could say first by tenant and then by date paid. To do this, I've already clicked on tenant, uh, but to now I would want to click on date paid and hold the shift button. And you'll see that it says number one column here is sorted, is, is sorted by the number one column and then by the number two column. I can change the order and, and do as I want. The next thing you can do is you can actually change the width. So I can say I want this field to be very, very wide or I want it to be very, very small. Uh, it's completely up to you. Every field can be saved, can be changed to whatever width you want. Now, the next functionality that you'll really want to take advantage of is the filtering. So let's say in this case, I only want to see entries from Sam. So I can type in S-A-M, and all I see are Sam's entries as a tenant. If I remove that, I see everybody's entries. I can say, I just want to see uh, property tax entries. So I'm going to type in property taxes and there it goes. As I'm typing you'll notice that it's filtering so now it's finding all entries that have a description P. If I add a PA it'll look for only PA. I can also uh, filter over here by accounting entries or by amounts so I can put in five two three and it'll only show entries for the amount that I'm looking for. I can do the same with categories construction I can filter by two different entries. So I can say I want to do by construction. I don't have to go further, but I'm just going to do it for complete completion. And then I want to filter only entries that have an amount paid of zero. And there you can filter by multiple fields. I just remove it and all the filters are gone. I can now also filter by a range. So when it's a date, instead of just one field, maybe I want to show all the entries this month. In this case, I would click here you can type it in as well, but it's just faster. Uh, I have no entries after this month, so I will go back to the previous month. Uh, so all entries starting from August 1st to August 31st. And it'll show me all entries in that range. I can say show me only entries before August 31st. And it'll show me all entries that are before August 31st, 2018. Now, as you can see, you can do a lot with the tables. You can completely customize it as you want. Uh, you can do this in every section. If I go under people and under tenants, I have the exact same functionality. I can shrink it, I can grow it, I can change the column order, I can search for residential. Uh, I can also select which fields I want. So maybe I wanna show the country, maybe I don't want to show the type because I just don't care. Uh, anything you want, you can do. And this is across all the tables. And on that note, uh, we've shown you how to use a lot of the functionality of the tables. There's a bit more, uh, but this will get you quite far and give you a lot of power on how to use, and flexibility on how to use the software.